India's willful defaulters lead to alarming rate of bad loans. What is a willful default? Defaults done despite the borrower's paying capacity. Money diverted for purposes other than the specific purpose of finance or drawn off and hence not available as assets to the borrower also qualifies as willful default. Borrowers who have sold fixed assets that they provided as collateral to secure the loan without informing the bank also come under this category. Let's look into these statistics. More than rupees 1.1 lakh crore was owed to banks by people or companies characterized as willful defaulters, that, that is those who are unwilling to pay despite having the capacity to do so. More than 9,000 such accounts for which banks have filled lawsuits for recovery and the top 11 debtor groups, each with dues of over rupees 1,000 crore, together had over rupees 26,000 crore outstanding to the banks. Analysis of the publicly available data for suit filed accounts, willful defaulters of rupees 25 lakhs and above shows that Jatin Mehta promoted Winsome Diamonds and Jewelry Limited and Forever Precious Jewelry and Diamonds Limited owed close to rupees 5,500 crore to various banks. Vijay Malia's Kingfisher Airlines, which has to pay back over rupees 3,000 crore under this head. The third company in the list is. Kolkata based REI Agro, a company owned by Sandeep Junjiwala, which according to news reports was once listed in London and Singapore stock exchanges and was co sponsor of an IPL team. This company owes rupees 2730 crore. The company is owned by Prabodh Kumar Tiwari and his family members. The amount outstanding on Maha Media, Pearl Studio Private Limited, Century Communications, and Pixion Media Private Limited is rupees 2416 crore. Zoom Developers Private Limited, promoted by Vijay Chowdhury, Reedan Taylor India Limited, and S. Kumar's Nationwide Limited, both promoted by Nitin Kasliwal and Media Baron T. Venkatraman Reddy's Deccan Chronicle Holdings Limited. In the past one year, it has increased by about 27%. In the previous three years, it has increased by 38%, 67% and 35% respectively. Thus, between September 2013 and September 2017, the amount has quadrupled from Rs 28,417 crore to over Rs 1.1 1 .1 lakh crore. Let's look into the nutshell. The collective total of more than 50 companies or groups each with over rupees 250 crore of willful default works out to about rupees 48,000 crore. It is only to some extent less than the government's allocation of rupees 52,800 crore for health in the 2018-19 budget. About 60% of this money is made up by nationalized banks. SBI and its associates account for one fourth of the total. Rupees over 14,000 crore have been declared as willful defaults by private sector banks. So this is the overall scenario of the India's willful defaulters which lead to alarming rate of bad loans.